Hi, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here with the architect on this project, Eric McInerney. Eric, how are you today? I'm well, and you? Good. Uh, this is actually Eric's personal house, and we've got a crowd today. This is the Cool Houses Tour, and we thought we'd uh, take aside for two minutes to do a quick video on the lighting strategy that we use in this house. Uh, at the time when this house was built, two years ago basically from now, is that about right, Eric? Yeah, August. Uh, almost two years ago basically. Eric did a ton of research on really the best LED modules out there because we really were concerned about getting uh, the power consumption as low as possible so that our 5.8 kW solar array would do the, the best possible job of lowering his bills. And so Eric, tell us a little bit about the uh, module that you selected and how it's been over the last two years. Well, this is a Cree um, light fixture, screw in, retrofit. One of the reasons we went with a retrofit fixture is we put new cans in, but the retrofit really gave us the option of, if it didn't work out, we'd be able to take it out and try a different fixture. Yeah. But fortunately, as it turns out, these Cree fixtures work really well. It's about a uh, 2700 Kelvin fixture. Um, you're looking at it here, it really looks a lot like an incandescent fixture, both in view and in light. It's got a good distribution, it's mm -hmm. got a good color. It even dims well. Yeah, that's actually one of the questions I had for you, Eric. As you've lived in the house, how much do you find that you use the dimming uh, on your on your light circuits? Well, my wife and my and my son are very light sensitive. That's part of the reason why we had to do so much research on the color. I, the original fixture I had chosen, my wife, I I showed her example of it, and she said no. So we had to do a lot more research <laughs> as to finding out which particular light we would use. So we dim these lights almost daily. We use a different level when we're cooking in the morning. We, and right now we have them on bright because it's a little more welcoming for the tour. But all of our lights we do a lot of control on. Tell us the, uh, tell us the wattage output on these, on these modules. Uh, it's about a 12 watt fixture. Um, do you happen to know the lumen output with that 12 watts by any chance? We'd have to look that up. I'll, 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 we'll look that up and we'll lace it in the it's video. probably equivalent about a, I'd say, 75 watt. It's probably similar. Bulb. My guess is it's over a thousand lumens. We'll, we'll find out when we look that up. But the really nice thing is they have these, um, the, the lens helps change the color, get a better color, and also gets a better distribution. I mean, a lot of times when you look at uh, bulbs that you just screw in, you, get, you can get a nice color, you can get a lot of light, but because it's an LED, it's a beam of light and you get a big old spot yeah. on the floor. Yeah. The Cree's really done a good job with this fixture of Diffusing. giving it a, a diffused light. Um, and How many of your, uh, of your visitors know that you've got LED recess cans? Um, I think mostly only the ones that I tell. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's one, that's one of the things that I like about this fixture is it's really hard to tell this is not a standard five inch light layer with a halogen bulb in there. It's really uh, well concealed. It doesn't look like an ugly module. And if you look at, the, uh, at this, at this uh, particular one, it's got a big heat sink that's back there. And one of the things that that helps with compared to the screw in type bulbs um, that you might see at Home Depot or one of the uh, big box stores is it's gonna give a greater lumen output. So it's really gonna perform like, like an old school incandescent or halogen bulb that you might've had in a previous house. And the heat sink in LED is really important. People think of LED, oh, they're cool light bulbs that don't put out any heat. Well, that's not actually true. It's a computer circuit. It's just that all of its heat comes off the back side. If you don't deal with the heat of, a, of an LED light bulb, it's going to greatly shorten its life and its e effectiveness. So part of the reason why different LED bulbs cost different amount is how much em emphasis they put on their heat sink. The better heat sink, the better the light bulb is going to be. And, and I would say it's worth it to spend the money on a better one because you're going to have a lot less uh, issues with reliability and frankly dead bulbs over the years. Have, have you had any die on you in the two years? No, this is the replacement one, figuring that we have, what, maybe 25, 30 of them installed. We got an extra one. Oh, we forgot, CR6 is this model, but uh, we got an extra one thinking one of them would fail. And that's, that's impressive. That's two years, two years into it, we still have our spare. That's really good. Eric, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Please check out the Cree LR6, is that correct? CR6. C pardon me, the Cree CR6 LED replacement bulbs. We'll see you soon.